So this is an example of one of the science games uh, under Legends of Learning. And basically, once you log in, there's a key that you give that uh, they give the students, or I gave the students. And then the kids will take and have to go through and complete an activity. Um, and this is kind of a fun game way to learn. Um, Game-based learning, it gets the kids engaged and it helps them to, uh, to understand some of the concepts that are going on. And basically this gives them some basic information um, and then they have to kind of go in with the atomic mass, the atomic number, and so forth. And so One, they, atomic number is the number of protons that an atom has. In this example, the atomic number of the oxygen is eight, which means it has eight protons. So it gives them a little bit of information as they as they continue. And then what they're doing here is based on the atom that's up here and the learning that they just did, they have to build that atom. So we know that this one has got an atomic number of one, which means that it must have one proton. And so you can see it moves around. It's one minus one is the neutrons, which means it has zero neutrons, so, but it does have one electron. So they drag that in. And then once they finished creating their atom, they click on validate. And now you get the second one. So now we have nitrogen and nitrogen has seven uh, protons and you can change the numbers that you add. So you don't have to do quite so many. Oops, I just added 10. That wasn't how many I wanted. Let's see how you get rid of them. Yeah, I guess I gotta learn the game a little better. All right, so let me try, Let's see if they clear it out if I validate it. Oh, there it is. So that one will get rid of it. All right, so you basically have to drag in the number of protons and neutrons. This one is going to have seven protons and seven electrons. And because it's 14 minus seven, it's going to have seven neutron. And then you just have to click validate. And then you keep moving through. So basically, you get the idea um, as you move through. There's different um, other things part of, as part of the game. You can add in plenty of things in this. This game uh, or this program has a lot of different ideas that uh, is pretty interesting, but it gives the kids a good chance to um, test things using uh, the knowledge they gained on the periodic table in this particular one, but on lots of topics. And then as they move past it, they gain uh, experience. So it's kind of an uh, interesting way for them to learn. All right, thanks for listening.